Okay, this is part two of the cross-coupled shared apex loop discussion about some of the experiments that I've been working on this summer. And in uh, this part, we're going to just do a, a quick review of uh, what the experimental system looks like, and then look at a bunch of videos of on-the-air uh, testing. So in review, the prototype that we're testing is a uh, uh, 8 by 16 foot loop size. So each loop has, is 8 by 16. There's four of these loops, and they're all in line. The modeled RDF is 12 dB, and frequency range uh, it seems to have a pretty good pattern from about 1 megahertz all the way up to 12 megahertz, and we'll demonstrate that in the uh, videos. And this is a picture of the prototype. We have the four loops oriented in an east-west direction. And then in addition to that, I have a reference antenna labeled R there uh, that's laying on the ground. And that's hooked up to one of the inputs on the shared apex controller. And so as you're watching the videos, uh, you will see the LED is pointing to the R. That stands for reference, and that is being switched then to that uh, the reference antenna, which is essentially just that uh, ground-mounted dipole antenna. The E uh, uh, designates east, and the and the W designates west on the uh, controller. As we watch the videos, one thing that I want to note is as you're, as you're watching those, pay special attention to this, the relative signal strength between the reference antenna and either the east and the west. Uh, in general, what I'm seeing is that for signals that have minimal front-to-back ratio, uh, they'll have a much stronger signal on the R or the reference, and when I go to find out where those stations are coming from, those are either from the north or, or south direction. So, and that's what the model teaches, is that the, the array has a, uh, a very good front to side ratio. Uh, for other signals that have a, um, a very good front to back ratio, on, on those signals, you'll see that the reference uh, signal strength is very similar to uh, either the west or the east depending on which which uh, is in line with uh, you know the signal and as I go back and find out where those signals were coming from more often than not those signals were indeed uh, coming directly from the east or directly from the west and then you'll see some signals that are a mixture of the two where there'll be uh, maybe there'll be some front to back and it will be uh, maybe 10 dB or so difference between uh, the strongest of the west or the east relative to the reference. And those stations I'm finding are basically off at about a 45 degree. So they'll be, you know, either a northwest or southwest or southeast or uh, et cetera. So let's go ahead and just dive in and, and watch some of these videos and, uh, and we'll go from there. We're going to start out with an AM broadcast uh, looking at a number of different stations. This is on the upper portion of the broadcast band near 160 meters. Ask about Harry, help me out. What's Harry's favorite fruit? What's Harry's favorite fruit? Is that true? Yeah. Is your mom there? This is an example of the station off to the northwest. This is a north south oriented station, or it's actually coming from the north. And 
in number six. He's in There are certain pieces of it that will. Well, you get to the outside. Again, to set up that wall. strikes on him, gets a base hit to left. Moreno. Two strikes on him. Also singles to left as Trevino guarding the line at third base. The ball hit right to where Trevino would normally be standing. Runners at first and second for Ryan McGroom. Uh, okay, so there you have a, a, a quick view of the AM broadcast. Now let's look at some uh, station on 160, it looks like. plug. Uh, it may be a, a nine pin plug. Uh, it looks like an octal, but it's a nine pin. And uh, there's coverage in that plug, and that's used to uh, uh, cause the radio to operate uh, uh, with all of its internals. If you pull that plug out, you, you can plug in uh, uh, an accessory uh, cable to uh, run a uh, high power amp and a high power modulator. But without the accessory plug in, Now let's look at uh, uh, CHU from Canada at 3.33 uh, megahertz. station would be to my east. Now let's look at a uh, couple of 80 meter stations. Cal 6 Bravo, yeah, he, uh, he acknowledged it, yeah, he, uh, um, he had talked to you about the, about this uh, field data here. He had talked to uh, Russ and Lee, Roger. Okay, I uh, certainly do. Much. Uh, by golly, uh, nice, uh, nice to hear from you, and uh, you have a great So with that, uh, I'm going to turn it back uh, to N5SWE, and uh, thank you, Net Control, uh, for uh, the break in there. Okay, uh, we find this is, uh, yeah, this is a small world, by golly, and uh, thanks uh, you uh, keep in contact with uh, uh, no matter how far away they are. Okay, uh, we'll, uh, we'll clear with uh, uh, Cousin Larry, uh, KG7, DRP. Uh, oh, did you have any help uh, before we clear, Larry? Yeah, I'll, I'll come in there. Yeah, I just wanted to catch, uh, catch Ross before we got out of here. Anyhow, yeah, this is uh, uh, KG7. Hello? We're right now at 62 Uh, talk about Russ. 
uh, a friend around there too. Uh, and it okay, next up, uh, WWV at five megahertz. At the Kelvin, four hours, 42 minutes, coordinated universal time. Okay, and there we saw WWV, which would be off to my south east. Uh, in Colorado, and then also WWVH, which would be to my southwest. Next up, we'll look at a broadcast station on 5.85. Yeah, and she said, oh, we know what we need to know to assert that this has no function. Yeah, and, and you've got that in your store, too, right? Yeah. So that you get that as a... We uh, sell that at our real time. Uh, or a DVD store, right? It's on the DVD, and if you would have been off to my east. Next, uh, I'm going to look at a couple of utility stations. And one of the stations is off to the east. The other is off to the south. See if you can determine which one is which. Okay, here's a uh, CW station on 40 meters. Next up is a utility station to my south and then a broadcast station to my east. and reception reports to info at wrmi.net or by and the broadcast station was probably a little more east southeast but uh, but fairly close to uh, uh, the main lobe of the antenna okay next up uh, broadcast station uh, 9.58 this is from australia to my west 
Finally, we're going to look at one more broadcast station, uh, just 11.76 station off to my east. All right, so there you have it. Uh, uh, looking from AM broadcast all the way up through uh, uh, almost 12 megahertz. And uh, so hopefully, hopefully that was helpful. Uh, one of the impressions that I've had in listening to the antenna is just the... Uh, uh, signal to noise ratio is just so much better. It's so much quieter on the uh, on the cross coupled shared apex loop than it is on the reference antenna, and uh, so that's been fun to fun to play with. And uh, looking forward to doing some some more experiments. In fact, uh, hopefully this fall, before it starts snowing anyway, I'd like to put up a uh, four direction version that has uh, 12 foot by 12 foot loops and um, uh, in the configuration that you see there. So I encourage you to, to uh, keep looking uh, at the uh, Shared Apex group uh, or the Yahoo group on uh, the Shared Apex and also ArraySolutions.com is another good place to look for additional information and uh, we're, we're uh, looking forward to having uh, questions and uh, have other people try out this antenna. 73 from KB7GF.